Now let's have a look at the question answers for the chapter. The first question is, what was the doctor's observation? Now when the doctor came to see John C, what he actually did was, he, he thought that she did not want to recover herself. So that reduced her chances of recovering by 50%. So this is the major point and uh, later you can elaborate on this answer. Let's read the answer once. The doctor examined the ailing John C. He was not sanguine about her ability to fight off the virulent pneumonia which had virtually damaged, dragged her to the brink. He conveyed this to Sue but assured her that John C. still had 10% chance of survival. He promised to give the best medicine but regretfully said that the patient's mental submission to the infection was undermining her body's capacity to fight back. He advised Sue to do everything possible to inject some hope and willpower back to the desolate John C. If this happened, the efficacy of the medication would be doubled, he assured. He suggested Sue to explore if John C. had any unfulfilled desire that could be met to make her recover her lost mental strength. So this is what we talked about. Let's look at the next question. What was bothering John C as she lay in her sick bed? Now as she was in her sick bed, what was she doing? She was just looking outside her window at the maple tree in which leaves are falling off and thinking that she would also pass by just like the last leaf. Let's have a look at the answer. Pneumonia had ravaged John C's body and mind. The acute suffering robbed her of off desires to patiently wait out the crisis. She convinced herself that the time to depart had indeed come. She became obsessed with an old wine creeper that was shedding leaves one by one due to the seasonal reasons. Quite illogically, she linked the dwindling number of wine leaves to her remaining lifespan. She concluded that the fall of the last leaf would herald the arrival of her death. Thus, she waited quite foolishly for the last leaf to fall. Next question. Describe Bahraman as a person and the way he saved John C's life. So we all know that he sacrificed his own self for John C. He went and climbed up the roof just to paint that little leaf on John C's window so that she could have her hope. Despite his rough exterior, brash manners and bl blusters, Bahraman was a man with a golden heart. Compassion, altruism and readiness for extreme sacrifice were the hallmarks of his nature. When he realized that John C. would cling to her life only as long as the last leaf remained in the creeper, he decided to outsmart the destructive power of the night storm by painting an identical creeper with its lone leaf. In the process, he saved a precious life but lost his own. He succumbed to the pneumonia attack triggered by exposure to the rain, wind and chill of the night. The painting was no doubt his masterpiece, which he had all along boasted about without accomplishing it. Sad thing is, he didn't live to receive the adulation. So these are the important questions for the chapter.